this is where I have received some responses to the batch request. Um, so I've logged into my dashboard and I can see here there's a things to do section right here and it says one request has received a response although in the activity section I can actually see I've had three responses um, that I need to um, look at. So I can go and update the status which will let me look at the response okay and I can see here it looks like I have some of the information that I've requested so I can say I've received some of the information it seems like I'm going to have to go somewhere else to get the rest of the information so at the moment I don't need to raise an internal review um, because I I know that I have been told in the response that I have um, I have to go somewhere else so that's not a problem so here I've just clicked on a waiting response because I just wanted to go into that section so I could look at the request and here you can see this is the batch request here and you can see here this is my status bar this says there are three requests that are still in progress so there's three requests that still haven't been answered one the one I've just um, updated the status on is marked as complete two still have action needed because I need to um, go and update their statuses so I'm just going to click on this one and see what's been said here okay so they've refused to answer my request and I'm not going to do anything about that right now and then I'm going to look at the last one ah this one's also been refused okay so now let's go back to my dashboard and see what my status bar says. Look, it says three in progress, three complete. So it shows me that I'm still, when I click on the title of the request, it shows me that I'm still awaiting a response from these three bodies. Um, but if I wanted to, say I'd received enough information um, and data that I could do some analysis, some kind of preliminary analysis, I can download these as a CSV. And you see that's just um, downloaded there. There we go. And here you can see this is the CSV of all my requests. So I can just look at them and then it brings me the request URLs. So I've got that for me to keep a track of. And then if I wanted to download a zip, I could download the zip. And then if anyone had given me, uh, for example, an attachment with their response, I could download the attachment as well as part of the zip and I'd be able to look at that separately and analyze data. So that's um, how the dashboard works and how the batch request status bar works. And that is probably about what I want to show you right now.